Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to easily insert table in Datic. Okay, so we shall go to new file, uh, backslash, document class. Uh, we don't need this square bracket, but within the curly bracket, so we are writing the document type as article. Okay, so this was our initial setup. Now we don't need any package here. So begin document begin document and document and in order to insert the table backslash begin tabular okay so this third option begin tabular uh, within the curly bracket next curly bracket how many columns you need for example if i want three columns c space c space c so this will tell you we need totally three columns okay if you want five column you have to put five C's separated by a space. Fine. So hit enter. Now the first row will be the column title. So what I'll do is C O L U M N dash title. Okay. And second column. This is for second column T I T L E column title. And this is for third column column title. Uh, the thing is no in order to say that this corres this is corresponds to first column this corresponds to second column and this corresponds to third column so we have to separate these columns with ampersand symbol okay and symbol fine so this is our first column uh, let me compile this document before I compile let me save it so to insert table let me compile it now okay fine so if you see here i got tit column title column title column title this is the first column this is the second column and this is the third column now in order to write the row con row content uh, double backslash what does this double backslash does this will go to new line right so cell separated and it goes to the next column cell space ampersand go to the next column cell and go to next column okay now if i run it now so cell this content is corresponds to the first column so this cell corresponds to this second column and this cell corresponds to the third column okay similarly if you need one more row hit enter again cell ampersand cell ampersand cell and new line okay so let me compile it so i got the second row similarly third row cell space ampersand cell space ampersand cell next row so similarly how many rows you need you can keep on inserting the rows okay now the important thing here is i want i want to put the line here no the table should has the line right so you know if you want vertical line like this you have to give this pipeline symbol this symbol here 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 as well as here okay if i compile this so you get to see the column separated by vertical line so if you don't want these two vertical lines you just want only this vertical line and this vertical line you ju just get rid of these two and run it and let's say you just need a box okay in the sense you need one horizontal line at the top and one horizontal line horizontal line at the bottom uh, you just have to give immediately after begin tabular line you give backslash h line okay h stands for horizontal now if i compile this you get to see horizontal line at the top of the table okay and if you need one horizontal line at the bottom of the table again backslash h line now if i compile this you will get bottom horizontal line fine and now you get the point right if you want all the uh, lines for all rows and columns what is that you need to do you just put a, this pipeline symbol here pipeline symbol here uh, 
after the first row i need one horizontal line h line and again after the second row i need one horizontal line after the third row i need one horizontal line and fourth row i already have the horizontal line yeah so now we got we got all rows and all columns with vertical and horizontal line uh, in the next video uh, i'll show you how do we uh, insert table with fixed length <coughs> fixed column length